What's up everyone? The squeaking caterpillars that we all so dearly love are back in full force this year. This time I am raising a different species of them than I showed you on my channel last year. This is the species from Taiwan. The scientific name is Rodinia virecunda. And it's one of the many species of squeaking silk moth that exists in our world. Most of this genus comes from um, Asia and so do these. And these are growing quite well on the uh, oak tree, which is one of their favorite uh, host plants. Now, as I've said before, the squeaking silk moth is not a single species. It's actually a complex of many species. Um, when we say squeaking silk moth, we usually refer to the genus Rodinia, which is a genus of Saturnidae, aka silk moths, that uh, come from Asia. And there's quite a uh, species diversity in there. Well, I say Asia, but I also believe some of them are found in the Far East and parts of Russia. That's why I say most of Asia, not exclusively Asia. Anyways, this seem to be really easy to grow in captivity if you follow some basic rules. And those are, first of all, don't overcrowd them. Second of all, give them a lot of ventilation and space. They need some luxury. They need more space than most caterpillars do. Uh, don't cram them all in a small container. Third of all, the food plant. These guys can eat many things, including hawthorn and cherry. But the thing is, many of the plants that they are willing to eat are actually not good for them. For example, I've raised them once on hawthorn, but it took me about four months to raise them because hawthorn seems to have very little nutrition for them and makes them grow very slowly. In comparison, on oak tree they've grown twice as fast this year. So, um, the thing about polyphagous moths is they're willing to eat more food plants than are good for them. So that means they'll also be willing to eat some of the shitty food that's not, not really great for breeding. But it tricks breeders into thinking it's one of their good food plants. So as you can see they're camouflaged quite well here on the oak leaves. Very easy and straightforward to breed. And seriously I'm in love with these species. They are just that amazing and awesome. So, um, yeah, thanks. I really hope that they will spin cocoons soon. I think they are in the final instar. So, uh, I think it may be... Well, the thing is, these moths, they tend to hatch in autumn. So, uh, I think in maybe three to four months, we are going to see the adults, maybe around November. Or a little bit earlier, even. But, uh, I think they are so close to pupation that we are going to... It's going to be guaranteed that we are going to see some adults. So, I'm really happy with that. If you're wondering how that make that sound, I already explained it in another video, but I will again. Um, insects don't have lungs like vertebrates do. Instead, they have a series of tubes that run through their body. And these are called... Uh, and these tubes are called the trachea. Now, these trachea are, like I said, a series of tubes that run through their body and transport oxygen. And these tubes, they um, are connected to the exterior of the caterpillar through an opening. And this opening uh, is called the spiracula. So basically the opening to the breathing tube entrance that's uh, found al to the, alongside their body is called the spiracula. Now what happens if you disturb these caterpillars, what they do, will do is uh, they will contract their body, forcing the air out through, see, through these breathing tubes. So what happens is it basically like an accordion, by contracting their body, they are pushing all the air outside of the tubes that run through their body. And it is forcibly pushed through the spiracula, making a whistling noise. Now, it's said that this squeaking noise can scare away predators, such as birds and small vertebrates like rodents, mice, that prey on insects as well. Um, it's purely bluffing. The caterpillars are completely harmless and cannot defend themselves otherwise from predators, except for being very well camouflaged. But uh, the squeaking noise is just to scare away predators. So, um, and it's just that they don't have anything to back up this threat, but the initial scare may be enough to, to uh, chase away a potential threat. Now there's a bonus species in this video, because what, what you see here is a different species of caterpillar. Not a squeaking silk moth, but um, I was rearing them in the same container and they seem to be going very well. What we see here is uh, Caligula boys du Valley, 
and this is not what this this video is not about this pieces but since they're in here on the same leaves I took the opportunity to film them anyways seems to be growing very well and both uh, the squeaking silk moth rodinia and uh, these guys here seem to be very well camouflaged so it's nice to have a batch of lime colored camouflage caterpillars here on the same batch oh hi there that's my sock do you like my sock uh, that's all i wanted to do today just share with you again the marvel of the squeaking silk moth and this year another species thanks for watching i hope to see you next video